What's up gamers? Today we're gonna make the mirror toggle ball. So by now you should already know how to open up your project by opening the Unity Hub and selecting your amazing world. So I already did that and well, this is where we left off last time. So let's make this mirror toggle ball so that you can turn it on and off in your world. And for now, I'm just gonna create a simple cube. So press and create 3D object and simple cube. Then we're gonna drag it a little bit inside your space, like your, your home. Downscale it a little bit and just let's let's put it inside the wall, like right over there. So it's pretty visible and well we're almost done already i'm gonna make this uh, or rename this to uh, toggle mirror so we know where to find it if we need to adjust it a little bit then press on add component and we're gonna look for the vrc trigger make sure you do not press the relay or the collider event just the VRC trigger should be enough. In here, we're gonna uh, click on the drop down and then on interact, press add, and you get a bunch of all new options. So uh, we want this toggle to be local so that only you, as a player, uh, toggle the mirror for yourself and not for everyone. So, in the second drop down, select local. And well, you can also see all are able to activate the trigger for themselves only. So, you got like a whole bunch always just triggers the event for everyone in your world. Uh, unbuffered or buffer one, like um, when somebody joins late game, they will. Uh, do the trigger again uh, you can see it. and late joiners will trigger the most recent one so before one is like the, the only the last action that's been done the last event and unbuffered is like well uh, late joiners will not trigger it so everyone in the world already uh, will get the trigger event but everyone that joins on late won't an example of that is like um, when you're in the world and you activate the mirror then it activates for everyone but uh, someone that joins in late won't be uh, seeing the mirror so they have to toggle it again but that can uh, break it because when they want to toggle on the mirror as well they toggle it for the others off because it's already on uh, unless you have like two triggers like toggle off toggle on then it, it's possible but for this purpose we're just gonna select local for now so that only you as the player itself will be able to trigger the mirror for yourself and not for everyone else we're gonna give it a text of like um a toggle mirror so this is like the label that you see when you hover over the 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 box uh, when you got the labels enabled in your settings uh, proximity is like how far of, from how far away can you toggle this mirror so the, the bigger it is the, the further away you can be to toggle this uh, button like two is is default and it's it's fine if you want people to be really close to the button then you can just decrease it a little bit like 0.5 or something that should be enough but for now two is is, is like enough and delay in seconds is yeah you know, just what it says delaying the event to happen for x amount of uh, seconds for a toggle like a toggle mirror that's not necessarily but you can make it like uh, if you press the button then wait two seconds and then the mirror appears or something like that but for now it's it's not needed and 
like the actions so we're gonna press the the plus over there and go to basic events and we're gonna set the game object active so press the set game object active and this action just sets game object active or inactive it's pretty pretty easy so for the receivers you you uh, have to press the plus sign first and then we're gonna drag our vrc mirror object just in the receiver and that's all then last option operation we're gonna set this to toggle so you can set it to false which makes the uh, the object inactive set it to true and it makes it active again or toggle then it just toggles between uh, active or inactive so you, with like the the false or the true you can also make like two objects one to switch it off and one to switch it on but for this mirror because it's local just set it to toggle so you can by pressing the same button twice you can set it active or inactive again and basically that is it that's all you have to do uh, I like to hide my mirror from start so that it doesn't like take up the resources from your computer in uh, when, you, when you're entering the world and I like to duplicate the mirror as well so we're gonna have a VRC mirror low quality and we're gonna have a VRC mirror high quality we're gonna change the toggle mirror to toggle HQ mirror and we're gonna duplicate this toggle mirror HQ and it's gonna be toggle mirror low quality and we just have to change the interaction text as well to low quality and when we press the set game objective active we can see the VRC mirror high quality over there and we just have to drop the low quality keep the toggle over there so that's that's it the only thing that we have to do now is like really make it low quality so resolution you can change it to like 512 or whatever um what i typically like to do is just disable some extra um, layers like we don't have to see the uh, environment we don't have to see the pickup items and well only player and mirror reflection that is enough so that should be your low quality and the other one is the high quality there we go and there is one problem that causes the mirrors now to overlap each other like you you can see it over here it's it's gonna flicker a little bit so i'm gonna just put this low quality mirror a little bit up front and well actually we can also um, by toggling the hq mirror we can also say like um, let's disable the low quality by default when you press the high quality mirror add another set game object active to it so like the second one it's empty you, you can just switch between them we're gonna put the low quality mirror over there and instead of toggle we're gonna disable it by setting it to false so whenever you toggle the high quality mirror now it always uh, disables the low quality mirror and we're gonna do the same for the low quality mirror so that it always disables the high quality mirror that's a lot of, lots of mirrors um, 
Capacity plus again, basic events, and then set game object active. The second one, press plus again. I'm gonna drag and drop the. Let's see, this was the high quality mirror. And we're gonna set it to false. Let me quickly check if I did this one correct. No, I've put the toggle over here, and that should be the low quality mirror and not the trigger. So that should be fine. And yes, this is fine as well. And by default, I always disable my mirrors like that. We're gonna save or oh, save our project. And we're gonna start publishing it. And uh, let's see, it's for Windows. Yes, everything should be fine. So build and publish, and we're gonna test it out. All right, I have to press the pause button again to get my settings. There we go. And we just have to check this box and press upload and that's it it's starting to upload the world before we can check it and there we go so let's open up steam play vr chat in desk desktop mode Alright, let's go to worlds all the way down till you see mine. There we see my super awesome house. Let's go. There we are. There is no mirror when we enter the world. That's fine, and when we go over here, you can see toggle HQ mirror and toggle LQ mirror. Let's toggle the HQ mirror, and you can see the mirror appears, and that's only for the one that presses it. That's only for me. And when I want to select the low quality mirror, you can see there is no environment in there, it's just the avatars, and you can see, but it also toggled off the low quality mirror. Well, when we do this one, because we move the low quality a little bit up front, you should have still seen it when it was enabled. So this this just works. It's it's fine. You can still see it like in the uh, in the corner over here that it moves a little bit. Oh, so that's that's it. You can use this for like anything that you just want to toggle on or off or um, for now just try to play with um, with like toggling mirrors or uh, video players or whatever you can think of and uh, where you can use it for. So for now I'm gonna leave it with this like the toggling um, I hope you understand how to do it now and can do it in your own worlds and of course i want to thank this month's patrons again like uh, somewhere up there next to there yeah <laughs> we'll see when i edit this uh, video and um, i can still do this because of you guys it's it's really appreciated and i hope that i can offer you guys more help in building awesome worlds so for now bye bye see you next time